moon is big and the stars are bright. Bump, 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 bump. Deep in the heart of Texas. Hey everybody, it's Scott Atwood. And I am deep in the heart of Texas. Uh, finally got out of California last night. Praise the Lord. We're on our way back to Georgia. Wanted to talk a little bit today about probably, it's hard to, if you had to say your favorite book uh, in the New Testament, that's almost impossible to do. Uh, but I would probably say that my favorite book in the New Testament would have to be the book of Romans. If I had to choose one to go on a deserted island of the New Testament, it would be the book of Romans. Out of the Old Testament, it would be the hymn book, the book of Psalms. But Romans, written by Paul, ah, probably around 60 A.D. Uh, those, those dates you got to take with a grain of salt. But that's what most people think about 60, 61 A.D. And uh, he wrote to the Romans... There, the book of Romans covers justification, sanctification, and glorification. And if you think you know everything about the book of Romans, read it again. The Holy Spirit will show you something new. But the book of Romans uh, has 16 chapters, 433 verses, 9 1,422 words. Now, if that impressed you, that's what I was trying to do. No, not really. I didn't get that. That's what, uh, in Ruckman's reference Bible, he he counts the words. So, I'm just going by his uh, counting. I've never sat down and counted all the words in Romans. But you say, why do you like the book of Romans so much? Well, I got saved on the Romans Road. The young man, he's probably not young, he's my age, so he's, uh, but he was young then. Uh, led me to the Lord by going through the Romans Road. And I would have to say that almost everyone, uh, absolutely everyone that I, I have ever led to the Lord, I took them to the Book of Romans. I take them to, uh, John 3.16 and uh, 1 John and uh, other books, but I uh, always uh, give several verses uh, in the book of Romans. The Romans Road. If you're not real good at uh, leading people to the Lord, get you something, or just do you a search on what the Romans Road is. And you can just go verse by verse and just tell them them verses and it'll take them right to the Lord. Uh, Ruckman also he uh, the book of Romans deals with all the main all of the main doctrines of the church and uh, Paul's uh, epistles and the other epistles is where we get our doctrines a lot of people try to get their doctrines from uh, the book of Acts and uh, they're making a mistake the book of Acts is the only history book in the uh, New Testament. It's the Acts of the Apostles, what they did. And it's a transitional book from the Jew at the beginning to the Gentiles at the end. So you got to get, you got to rightly divide the word of truth. But the book of Romans deals with, and again, I'm referring to uh, Dr. Ruckman, salvation, redemption, sanctification, justification, predestination, regeneration, and glorification. And uh, if you'll do a word study on each one of those words and find out those doctrines and study them through, well, there you go. You got a college education, brother, because uh, that's a lifetime of study, what I just told you. 
Again, it's salvation, redemption, sanctification, justification, predestination, adoption, regeneration, and glorification. All the major uh, all the major doctrines of the Bible in one book. He reiterates it in other books, but uh, if you do a diligent study on the book of Romans, you will understand where we are in the New Testament church. I love that book. So, uh, the way I break it down is justification, sanctification, and glorification. Justification, uh, a lot of people say, well, just as if I did not sin. Justification is God not only forgiving your sin, but taking it away. Sanctification is setting apart for a holy purpose. He sanctifies you. If you're saved, He didn't save you to not do anything. He's got something He needs you to do. And glorification, of course, is what's going to happen uh, at the rapture when we get our new bodies. We'll be glorified in a glorified body, a sinless body. Praise the Lord for that. So that, that is just a real quick thing on one of my favorite books in the whole book. Uh, the book of Romans, written by the Apostle Paul. It was written to the Romans. Evidently, he didn't start the church in Rome, but uh, he wanted to go there. And, uh, you know, if you go through the Bible, you really never see where the Apostle Peter went to Rome. So the first pope, according to the Catholic Church, might not have even been there. Some say he went there when he got uh, crucified, but that's not in the Bible. That's uh, church history, which is possibly true. But the apostle to the Romans would have been Paul. So anyway, the book of Romans, the state of Texas... I finally got out of the state of confusion. Do your little word studies on uh, those major doctrines of the Bible and it will uh, expand your knowledge of the Bible greatly. I'm just really trying to encourage y'all to get in that book. You can study that book for a hundred years and not master it. Even uh, some of the greatest men uh, of God, uh, in my opinion, said, you know, there's a lot of stuff in that book they, they never could figure out. And I think, personally, I think that book will be in heaven. Of course, we'll be judged by that book, but we'll, uh, we'll be in uh, studying that book for eternity, in my opinion. I think it's got different, uh, so deep levels that we we haven't even scratched the surface of it. But it's a beautiful day in Texas. I like Texas. I always like Texas. I like Texans. I uh, I met a lot of them. Everybody says that a Texan, you know, everything's bigger in Texas. But uh, I heard a guy say that it ain't so. He met a guy. A Texan he could put, put in a shoebox. And I said, you could put him in a shoebox? He said, yeah. He said, once you let out all the hot air, you could stick him right in that shoebox. <laughs> anyway, God bless you all, and that's about all I got for today. I'm going through the, uh, I'm going through the major uh, prophets again in the Old Testament, and I'm going through... The books of Paul uh, in the New Testament. Been through them several times, and every time I get through them I, uh, and read them again, I get something new. Uh, that book is alive. It's quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. So God bless you folks, and read your Bibles, read your Bibles, read your Bibles, and pray without ceasing. Amen. What a beautiful sky.